Hello everyone, welcome to our new video. Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about Agile history. Can you tell us how everything started, Mr. Ezgi? Yes. Its roots go back to the Plan, Do, Check, Act cycle of Edward Stemming in the mid 20th century. William Edward Stemming was an American management consultant who lived between the years 1900 and 1993. When Deming worked with the Toyota production system, he used this approach in the company. Taichi Ono at Toyota developed Kanban to improve manufacturing efficiency. Taichi Ono was a Japanese industrial engineer who lived between the years 1912 and 1990. The Japanese word Kanban means signboard. An important goal of Kanban is to limit the buildup of excess inventory at any point in production. What happened next? Later on, two researchers published a paper called The New New Product Development Game in 1986. The researchers were Hirotaka Takeuchi and Ikujiro Nanoka. Hirotaka Takeuchi is a Japanese professor in Harvard Business School, who was born in 1946. Ikujiro Nonaka is a Japanese professor in Hitot Subashi University, who was born in 1935. Their research examined multinational companies such as Fuji Xerox, Canon, Honda, NEC, Epson, Brother, GM, and Hewlett Packard. Their conclusion was that the leading companies show important characteristics in managing their new product development processes. What are these characteristics? There are six of them. One, built-in instability. Two, self-organizing project teams. Three, overlapping development phases. Four, multi-learning. Five, subtle control. And six, organizational transfer of learning. Actually, it is fair to say that this research is the starting point of the development of the Scrum framework. Did Scrum start right after that? Not really. Around the same time, other people are doing research related to our subject. Who was doing a related research, for example? Uh, for example, Alistair Cockburn. He's an American computer scientist who was born in 1968. Crystal methods were developed by him in the 1990s. Here, the projects are categorized based on size and criticality. What does? We have DSDM, which is Dynamic Systems Development Method. The DSDM consortium was founded in 1994 by an association of vendors and experts. There are eight principles. What are these principles? One, uh, focus on the business need. Two, deliver on time. Three, collaborate. Four, never compromise quality. Five, built incrementally from firm foundations. Six, develop iteratively. Seven, communicate continuously and clearly. Eight, demonstrate 
on Chrome. Scrum is the most popular Agile framework. When do we see it first in Agile history? I was just going to explain that we see it around the same time frame as PSDM. Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland developed Scrum in 1995. Ken Schwaber is an American software development expert who was born in 1945. Jeff Sutherland is an American software development expert who was born in 1941. In Scrum, the team executes time-boxed iterations. Each iteration is called a sprint. The duration of each sprint will be the same throughout the project. Before the first sprint starts, one decides about the duration of the sprints. The duration cannot be longer than one month. There cannot be an empty time interval between the sprints. Is there anything else before we see the Agile Manifesto in 2001? Yes. Extreme programming, shortly called XP. Extreme programming was developed by Kent Beck in the 1990s. Kent Beck is an American software engineer who was born in 1961. It has practices like fine-scale feedback, continuous process, shared understanding, and programmer welfare. Then we have the Agile Manifesto published. Yes. In 2001, 17 experts published the Agile Manifesto, which we are going to explain in another video. Do the research and other activities slow down after the manifesto? No, not at all. We continue to see intense research and other activities related to the Agile approach. For example, a lot of work has been done related to scaling Agile within the company, such as Nexus, scaling Agile at Spotify, disciplined Agile, and so on. We'll talk about these in future videos. Thank you, Mr. Rizgi. We have reached the end of this video. Please subscribe to our channel and like our videos. You can support us from our Patreon page. Hope to see you in our next video. We'll be glad if you write your comments below our videos. Also, feel free to ask any questions you might have. Contact us using our email addresses if you are interested in our courses. Goodbye. Bye-bye.